Yeah, welcome back to our classroom. Here we are going to discuss about the torque experienced by a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field, uniform magnetic field, right? So generally, what is called torque? Yes, the force into perpendicular distance between them. Whenever there is a couple is formed, then we will say the couple that couples will form the torque, right? So now we can move on to the topic where we apply these kind of topics. You have any idea? Yes, you have studied in lower classes. You have studied electric motor, right? And that electric motor, we are applying the same principle, right? Okay, now we are move on to the topic. And here in this diagram, I have drawn the two poles. This is north pole and this is south pole, right? So between this pole, I have drawn one rectangular coil. Okay, in that rectangular coil, I have passing the current okay i am passing the current so here i am passing the current in the direction and goes down and here i am going down in the direction so here i go down the current is passing in that direction so i am named as p q r s p q r s okay and that P2, the current is goes in the upward direction, and in that RS, the current is going in the downward directions. And the magnetic field lines are passing this area, right? And the current is going in that way, right? So the magnetic field lines are as like that in the board, and the current is going perpendicular to that board, right? Just upward direction. And apply Fleming's left hand rule. So this direction is magnetic field along the bow direction and to that perpendicular my chart is projection that is current direction then the force will be developed here inward direction with, compare, with respect to this normal right here this, uh, this is the normal right when compare this normal this is acting the force inward direction right and the rectangle coil have the, this side the PS is A and P, Q is B, right? So the area of the loop is A into B, right? A, B, that is the area of the loop. And here the magnetic field is projected towards south pole and the current is going in the upward direction and apply Fleming's left hand rule. So the force will be acting inward direction with respect to this normal, right? And in RS, the current is flowing in downward directions, right? Current goes in downward direction and magnetic field is applied towards so right and here the force is acting outward direction when compared to normal right so these force and these force this is inward this is outwards so these force lift up and this force is pulling down right one force is acting in the this direction and this force is acting in the downward direction so there is a meaning here. So it will goes up and this will pull down, right? So how the sensor take this book, okay? Instead of the coil, I am using here. So the force will apply here is upward direction, it goes upward direction, and here it will pull it down in the downward direction, right? After it will come back, and again it will goes up again. So it will take in the clockwise manner as in rotation, right? the torque is produced and it is rotating in clockwise directions, right? So similarly, so this force is acting in upward direction, this force is acting in the downward direction, therefore this coil is rotating in clockwise manner, right? Now, here we have the current is passing in that PQ, right? This is PQ, the force is acting in the upward direction. And here, this one, RS, the force is acting in the downward direction, here I mark down the I value is going down. and this will form couple, okay? Two equivalent forces are acting in opposite directions that will form couple. Due to the couple, the torque is produced. That is a concept here. What is couple means? Two equivalent forces are opposite in that point, right? That will form couple. From that couple, the torque is produced. Okay. Now, the angle is theta, then this term will be a sin theta, right? So this A sin theta is called, we are saying that perpendicular distance. 
This is called perpendicular distance. Now we directly move on to the derivation part. As we know that the torque, this is torque. Torque tau is equal to force into distance, perpendicular distance. So what is the force here? Magnetic field, current, and this right B. Yes, and what is called D perpendicular distance? A sin theta. Subset here A sin theta. And add it that is gives B I A B sin theta. What is A B? Area. So I can write tau is equal to B I capital A sin theta. Here I have shown only one coil. Suppose it has number of coils n. Then we can introduce n number of turns. N B I A sin theta. How to remember this formula? N B A. You know the basketball, right? So similarly, we need to remember NBA. NBA in the sense basketball, we can able to easily understand. And I sin theta. Yes. Okay. And what is called this m small m magnetic moment? This m is called magnetic moment. So we can define the magnetic moment is equal to number of turns, current, and area of the loop. That will use the magnetic moment. Therefore, we can write tau is equal to m in m cross b vector m vector into b vector that i can return as mb sin theta then when it tau becomes minimum value when theta becomes zero because sin zero is zero therefore tau becomes zero it is minimum value when it becomes maximum when theta becomes 90 degree sin 90 is one that time the torque is maximum right and here we are discussing some Results. Here we are talking about uniform magnetic field. Then what about the net magnetic force? It should be zero or not zero? Not zero. Yes, it should be zero. And the torque which is may be zero, may not be zero. Either zero or not zero, right? But in the case of non-uniform magnetic field, the magnetic force is not zero. That is non zero, but the torque will be acted. Either it will be zero or non zero, right? I hope you understand well and enjoy and thank you. See you in the next video.